What's going on YouTube? It's Rubix here with another computer time video for you guys. So today's in video we're going to be talking about bad sectors. Now bad sectors are basically missing data, unreadable data, or corrupted data. Okay, now we've all got them, I'm pretty sure. So <clears throat> in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can uh, repair and help prevent your data from being lost because if you don't do this there's a very high ch high chance and probability you will lose v a lot of important data so now bad sectors are mainly due to the magnetic weakening of the domain and the mechanical faults ah faults over time the magnetic areas of the disk loses magnetism and hence its inability to retain data such as bad sectors have the tendency to spread and usually non repairable but that's for like if you don't if you don't prevent these from happening and they do get bad it it is non repairable but that's for the really bad parts but mechanical faults include physical shocks to the disk abrupt power shutdowns and disruptions during read and write operations head crash can also cause bad sectors and lead to permanent data loss on the disk when bad sectors spread it can result in system instability when important files are destroyed. Mild corrupt data, however, can be however can be recovered by system file utilities by most of them. But but um, today I'm going to show you how you can prevent that so that you don't have to go through all that big and money wasting stuff that you don't want to go through. And I'm it's just real quick how I'm going to show you today. Now it's real simple. You're going to go to go to start go to the computer now pick which disk you wanna you wanna check now you can check every single one if you got time so day uh, let's just do F you could do every single one the F is my external hard drive my hard drive is parsed into two so right now we're gonna get F so this is my external one so you're gonna do that and you wanna hit properties now on the properties page and by the way this does work for Vista XP and Windows 7 so in any so you after hitting into properties you want to go into the tools area then you're going to click the check now now this thing is going to pop up right here and you're going to want to click scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors now if you think your computer is that bad and it's really lagging slow as crazy you're going to want to click automatically fix file system errors so it's just going to automatically fix them but if you don't and you want to just do a quick scan and recovery which I do recommend first unless you have a really crappy computer um, just uncheck this if you if you just wanna you know but for the really bad computers you're gonna wanna check that now um, after all of that uh, you're just gonna have to click start now this is gonna take a while depending on computers so while that's happening go make a sandwich or something go get a drink read a book watch TV play a game whatever but uh, I suggest not doing anything on the computer while it's doing while it's doing all that. Now, important if you if it is a really bad situation and you, and after doing this doesn't work, then you probably have a extremely then there's probably a very bad internal error. So, or there's just really something wrong with your hard drive. So if you can back up as much as important files as you can, just back them up like crazy get an external hard drive, USB, whatever, just get any important files you want. Important data should be backed up immediately, man, okay? Because you don't want to lose any of that, okay? If the syst if, if your thing like hangs and stuff like that, that is a real red light to... That's just a red light right there. And after backing up the important data and stuff like that, I suggest you consult a data recovery specialist with and not doing it yourself if but those are only for the extreme situations you're gonna wanna consult an uh, expert about this but if your computer is doing okay right now I suggest just doing this at least once or twice a month to prevent data loss and stop file errors and corrupted data and all that kind of stuff so this is Rubik's here with computer time and I hope that you like my little video today and I'm hope that this will help you a lot in the future and I'm pretty sure it will so tune into my channel subscribe like comment rate give me all your kind of stuff like that you know 
give me your ratings and everything like that cuz I upload I will be uploading a lot more computer time videos soon give me requests on what on what kind of um, what kind of videos you need help with I will uh, check your request and I will look into it and I'll and I'll do my best so if you guys have any problems on your computers send me a message and I'll and I will do my best to help you so thanks for watching my video my video YouTube comment rate subscribe all that kinda of stuff and I hope to see you in some of my other videos so see ya